Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the card review. So today we are looking at a normal monster. I know there's not much to be said about normal monsters, but this one's pretty interesting. So it is actually a normal, normal pendulum monster. Yes, normal pendulum monsters, and as you know, the most popular and you know one of the strongest normal pendulum monsters in all Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, Scout. So um, this is another one. This is another one. So we're going to go ahead and look at it. I mean, of course, we're not going to look at his monster effect because he doesn't have one. But it does have a pendulum effect. And I like how Konami is doing that. I like how Konami is bringing back the whole normal thing by just giving them pendulum effects. You know, giving them effects in their pendulum zone, but then they're still considered normal monsters. You know, ever since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, mostly since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Normal monsters have kind of been just the butts in comparison because they have no effects. You know, the benefit of these normal monsters was that they were strong beaters. That... Yeah, they don't have an effect, sure, but they have a high attack, higher attack than, you know, monsters that do have an effect, and that's why you should run them, you know? You know, drop that uh, Gemini Elf, drop that uh, Force Raider, because they have high attack, you know? Summer and Skull, uh, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, they have high attack, they're strong beaters, they may not have an effect, but they're strong beaters, so that was the benefit. Then, of course, as the game progressed... Um, you know, monster effects started getting stronger and stronger, and it started being less and less about, you know, how strong your monster is, but how good the effect is, you know, and, you know, cards like Sangan, who, who is now banned right now, you know, you know, went up and up and up and just, you know, eventually reached the point of being banned just because of, hey, the monsters weren't strong in attack, but their monster effects were so good, you know. Sangan got banned in March 2013 when the top decks were literally Dino Rabbit and Windups. What do those two decks have in common? They have low attacking monsters, well, great effects. So Sangan was searching it up, and you know, of course, uh, of course, Dino Rabbit. Of course, Dino Rabbit was another one of the steps forward that made normal monsters, you know, you know, kind of respectable. You know, just be like, oh no, Dino Rabbit summon the two dinosaurs. Let's see, Lagiadoka. Oh yeah, you know. Or of course, you know, going into Heliotrope and making you know one card Ophion's not too terrible either. But, you know, as time progressed, um, you know, and we started stepping away, uh, normal monsters, they've always been kind of up and down, but mostly down, mostly down. So, you know, I'd say the pinnacle, pinnacle points of normal monsters were, you know, in the beginning, they were strong beaters. Then when uh, Rescue Rabbit kind of did its thing with the dinosaurs, and that was kind of when, you know, normal monsters were like, oh, 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 they might have something. No, there. And then, of course, Scout. But... Scout's not the only normal pendulum monster, you know, but and we're not counting Assembler either. We'll go ahead and review him on another day because Assembler's so good. But um, this is another guy, and I mean, this this new thing, this new deck that's popping up, um, it's kind of like um, it's kind of uh, they call it normal pendulums because the monsters that are made are normal monsters, but they're pendulums. They have pendulum effects. Yet they're normal monsters and pendulums and they're beaters. But you can of course exceed and do various plays like that. So. I know my friend Omega Chaos, he's he's doing some stuff with the whole normal pendulum deck. So um, if you wanted to go ahead and uh, check that out, his link will be in the description. So you can go ahead and check out the channel. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and look at it, another one of them. Another one of the normal pendulum monsters, as we're calling them. And, uh, you know, determine why it's so good and why it's interesting. So, uh, we finally I can start talking about this card and not give you, you know, the history of normal monsters anyway. Um... So this is Dragoons of Draconia. Yes, Dragoons of Draconia. You, you, you look at it. It's, it's a lizard on a dinosaur, man. It's fucking just badassery with two weapons. You know, a weapon in each hand. Just a lizard on a dinosaur. So, you know, it, it's a reptile, right? Because it's a lizard, right? No? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. It's a dinosaur because the di cause it's, a, no, di it's a dinosaur, right? Right, right? No, no, it's not that. Oh. Okay, well, the guy riding on the dinosaur, he kind of looks like he's like a warrior guy, so... Warrior? No? No? Then what the hell? What the hell is it? Beast warrior. Beast warrior. How is that a beast? How... Th what is that? That's not a beast. That's, that's not a beast. Isn't a beast a mammal? That's clearly not a mammal. That's clearly some kind of reptile on a dinosaur. There's nothing beast about that card art. Konami, what the hell? It is a fire beast warrior, level four. It's a pendulum scale two, 1800 attack, 200 defense. So you know what this means. He fits a lot of requirements for a lot of good things. All right. So 
Beast Warrior. I don't know why he's a Beast Warrior, but you already know. What do Beast Warriors mean? What does this mean? Search Bolt is tanky. Yeah. Search Bolt is tanky. All right, all right. Search Bolt is tanky. All right. Uh, Fire? Fire, yeah. Fire. So Fire Beast Warrior. All right. So you know what you can do with him, right? Yeah. Ah, Wolf Bark. Oh, yeah. Bring him back. Wolf Bark. He is four. Go ahead and exceed. Bam. Wolf Bark. All right, all right. All right. Um... Fire, uh-huh. Oh, 200 defense. Oh, uh, rekindling. Yeah, yeah. I see where you're going with this. I see. I see. You, if you're going to take a normal monster, you're going to make them decent. So 1,800 attack is respectable. You know, plus tanky, 1,900. Respectable. I can go with that. All right, all right. So his monster effect. Let's go over his monster effect. He doesn't have one. Yeah, he's a normal monster. Yep. But we can go ahead and read his description, I guess. I guess, you know. The whole what they've been doing with normal monsters instead of giving them effects, they give them like a backstory. So, armed with muskets and iron spears, these mounted land troopers of Draconia Empire are feared by the Reptir Kingdom and other bordering nations. So wait, Draconia. So you're the dragon, and then they're feared by the Reptir Kingdom. So, but why are you a beast warrior? I <laughs> Trying to come up with this whole background story. Draconia, we're the dragons, and we fight against the reptiles because we're similar yet different, and we have our disputes. I'm a beast warrior. <laughs> like, like, like I, I, what is it supposed to be? Like, instead of being a beast warrior, like beast, like an animal, like a beast, he's like a beast warrior, so he's like badass, so he's, it's like, is that supposed to be it? Like, yeah, I'm a beast-ass warrior, like, I'm a beast. Like, is that it? Like, I don't understand, but, hey. Like, did, I, mean, I need to know, Konami, did you just make a Beast Warrior just so you can search him through Tanky? Because that's the one thing with this whole normal pendulum thing is they access a lot of the searching cards. A lot of the searching cards. A lot. You know, Rhoda. Um, I know they have a Warrior, so I know there's, Ro there's Rhoda. This guy's Beast Warrior, so I know there's Tanky. I know they're, you know, they have level 5s or higher normal monsters, so there's uh, Summoner's Art. I know they have a Dinosaur, so there's a Fossil Dig. They have a ton of searchers, so you can easily get your scale set up just by activating plenty of searchers. That's so many searchers for one deck. So, of course, this guy doesn't have a normal, uh, you know, effect, because he's a normal monster, but he does have a Pendulum effect. You know, just like a Scout, you put it in the Pendulum Zone, it has an effect, and probably one of the most powerful effects, but this guy also has a pretty good effect, too, so let's go over his effect. So, its effect... When it's in the pendulum zone, scale of two, remember. So, you know, depending on, it can pendulum summon three or higher. So, depending on, you know, what's on the other side of the scale, well, you know, where you'll get your brackets. But, you know, three or higher, you know. Anyway, it's pendulum effect. Once per turn, if a normal monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculation, add. You can add one level four or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand so he is a searcher as long as you can get your normal monster to destroy a post monster by battle yeah and of course what i just say at the beginning of this video with normal monsters they have high attack so the chances of your normal monsters being able to destroy one of your opponent's monsters by battle is pretty high it's pretty high so you get to go ahead and get your search on you can add any level four or higher normal monster you want any any you want. You want to add Blue Eyes to your hand? Bam, there you go. You want to add Dark Magician? Bam, there you go. You want to add Elemental Hero Neos? Bam, there you go. This guy has got you covered. I like that. I like that effect. It's a pretty good pendulum effect, you know? And, of course, it's once per turn. They had to make it once per turn because that'd be dumb because you'd probably be like, all right, pendulum summon all these arm monsters, attack, search, attack, search, attack, search, attack, certainly. No, it's once per turn. But that's a really good effect. And, of course, this whole normal pendulum deck. So what can you do? You can search for your other pendulum, your other scale. Yes, you can just be like, all right, well, I didn't open up with a you know, pendulum right away, but I can get set up. So your opponent, you know, sets the monster. You can use the like, all right, well, I'm gonna put Dra Dragoons of Draconia. I'm gonna normal summon my Voice Raider. My Voice Raider attack every monster. Oh, I destroyed you? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and search for my monsters at the scale of seven. And put it in the scale of seven. Bam. I can pendulum summon between three and six. Pendulum summon. Like, I like that. I like that, Konami. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's it's gonna, it might be a thing. It will be a competitive thing? I doubt it. Because it seems a little slow in comparison to the meta. You're going to get out-resourced. But, uh, you know, especially with no effects. Like, you know, 
that's the one thing that your opponent won't have to be afraid of is you know no monster packs. Of course you can exceed, but you know, you know, there, there's no threat. You know, you don't have any monster effects, so you know you're just a lot of beaters and you know. But still, still, I like it. I like it. You know, it's a cool, fun little deck. Tons of searching abilities. Tons of search ability. So you know, like I said, Mega Chaos is doing something with the whole normal pendulum thing. So. Um, Gonna go ahead and pass it over to them so you can go ahead and click the link in the description, go over to the channel, and uh, you know, learn more about this whole deck because I'm not doing with anything with it involved with the deck anything right now. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Dragoons of Draconia and about this whole Pendulum Normal Monster mechanic that uh, Konami is doing as well. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys Thursday with another card to look at. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.